Okay, once again, let's go over a uh, camera flyover technique that I used in the Peter Pan sequence. This is uh, a sequence for Aladdin, stage play Aladdin and the Magic Carpet Ride. Uh, thanks once again to some marvelous uh, packs from uh, Real Illusion, uh, Middle East World Builder, and the Oasis uh, pack. Helped give me the buildings I needed and some trees. There's still a ways to go on this. I want to add some more people in this particular scene. But right now, for testing purposes, you can see uh, I'm in Iclone 5 right now because I really had to use uh, the path creation tools. And right now, it's very difficult to lay out an animation path in Iclone 6 because you can't scroll around the screen very well. At least, I can't. Uh, but you can see the path is uh, rather extensive around the city. And... Uh, I did that in iClone 5, but everything else can easily be done in iClone 6 as far as the targeting goes. Now, here are my target objects. I believe you can just barely see the camera. Here's the camera here. Uh, it is linked to this particular object, and then I've got a couple more objects in front. I have this particular uh, dummy here, and then I have another dummy attached, the pink one. That is actually the camera target. Uh, that pink dummy is linked to the green dummy. It's attached to the path and the red dummy is attached to the path and then the camera is linked to it. Uh, let's take a look at uh, obviously the camera path right here. Uh, that is the green dummy and it's going to move along the path. We've got some uh, keyframes here. Position here, position here. Now if we look at the camera path, the red dummy. Uh, let's go ahead and add it and uh, look at its and it of course is just behind the green dummy and the target. You don't want it to be in front because that will probably probably mess up what you want to do. It's behind. The green dummy starts moving first and then the red dummy with the camera attached moves behind it. And then the camera target is what the camera is looking at and you can see all the keyframes and I've got all uh, of course ease in ease out uh, we are somewhat limited obviously in our curves but that helps a great deal and even the uh, path we have uh, ease in and ease out here as well so everything moves real smoothly as you can see so let me go over now to another camera here that's looking at everything and uh, turn some things off and we'll just see how it moves through here and hopefully you can see, as I said, the camera is right there. We'll start rolling here. And this camera will follow what's going on. And you'll get an idea. This camera is moving, uh, once again, linked to the red dummy. It's looking at the pink target, which is attached here. Now, by uh, linking the camera here, we can do some uh, rotation of the camera. We can turn off the leveling features, and the camera can bank left and right and do things that it couldn't do if it was attached directly to the path. So by attaching it to a dummy, which is attached to the path, by linking it to a dummy, which is attached to a path, we can make some nice rotations and curves uh, with the camera. And the camera, of course, has some keyframes as well with ease in and ease out on it. And it's watching, as I say, the target pink right there as it's moving around. So it moves uh, rather smoothly, I think. Uh, obviously, it'd be great to have some more tools uh, to be able to uh, ease that curve a little better, but uh, it's doing a good job with the limited uh, type of moves that I wanted for this particular piece. So that gives you an idea of how the linking was handled.